Now, in order to do this, I want to walk you through a few pieces of brain. Um, there are a couple of areas of the brain that we're going to talk a lot about, so I would like you to be familiar with them. Um, a lot of people get nervous when you start hearing that you're going to have to hear about the brain. Don't be nervous. This isn't going to hurt at all. Um, these are really fun places in the brain. Um, my, I'd say this is runner-up. My second favorite brain structure is something called the amygdala. And you all have one. Um, it's the, um, the Greek word for almond. So not surprisingly, it's, it's the size and shape of an almond. It sits down deep in the brain. Um, you have one on each side. Uh, your dog has one. Cats have them. You're born with one that's completely functional. And what this guy does is it's your burglar alarm. It checks every single bit of sensory information that you encounter to find out if you need to do something about it. It checks everything. Um, the easiest way to think about it is that it's responsible for the four Fs. Now, most of you have heard, probably heard of the fight or flight response, correct? Um, that's this guy. So when, you, when, when something, some sensory information comes in and strikes your, your amygdala as dangerous and it sounds the alarm, you go into fight or flight mode. But that's not all it does. Um, it also has a lot to do with feeding. It basically has to do with anything that's necessary for your survival. So in terms of finding food, remembering where food was, um, deciding if food is good, the amygdala has a, plays a strong hand in that. Um, as we talked about, if you need to fight, the amygdala is your guy. Um, it will get your heart racing. It will shunt blood um, to your muscles. And it will also crank up your adrenal system and some other, other um, endocrine systems to get you really ready to fight. Um, if you decide that, you, that it's better to just get out of dodge, um, the amygdala will help you flee. Um, and then, um, obviously, the, um, the final F, and possibly the most important in terms of keeping us all alive as a species, the amygdala is critically um, involved in sex. Um, okay. Um, so you remember that one. Um, so, obviously you can't let this bad boy run around by himself, right? So if we were only about the four Fs, we would be with the cats and the dogs and the lizards. Um, we're actually human beings. And